Here we go. So welcome everyone to the very first episode of Worth It, which is a fully original video series never been done in the history of the universe before, and created by yours truly. In this series, the objective is simple. We test three of the same tower upgrade, each created in different ways, but all at three different price points, and we try to see which one is the most worth it for their price. Understood. Well then let's introduce episode 1's first contestant. It's the one and only, the second most feared tower in the entire Monkey Kingdom, the Temple of the Monkey God. Standing at a staggering 69 feet tall, and weighing in at a whopping 415 kilotons, increasing to as much as 420 and 3 fifths kilotons overnight, the Monkey Temple is by far the largest of them all and it's long been known that its immense power is controlled purely by monetary gains. Legend has it that the more money you throw at it, the stronger it becomes, and we're going to put it to the test today with three monkey temples at three different price points, calculated by the price of its tower sacrifices. Now it may sound quite obvious to you that the more expensive sacrifice is probably going to be the most OP, but remember you have to value the best bang for your buck as well, so it's quite possible we'll conclude that cheaper temples are more efficient and worth using over the expensive ones. Who knows, we'll find the answer to that by the end of our experiments. Now let's begin our journey with our first stop at Park Path, the capital city of the Monkey Kingdom. Park Path is well known for being the value land of the nation. So with that we're going to power our temple with only $200 worth of towers. Johnny over here will show us how it is done. Why certainly ISAB. After decades of research from our talented scientists over at the Monkey Research Lab, we've found a good compromise between affordable real estate and Bloom's laying power. And it turns out that $200 is the sweet spot. We've undergone multiple experiments and concluded that 100 Dark Monkey as tribute gives you the most bang for your buck for your temple. It's really all you need. A lot of clients have reported that they no longer fault around 8 yellows with this Dark Monkey sacrifice. Back to you. Thanks Johnny. I'm excited to see how much I can really get out of $200 because it sounds almost too good to be true. I guess there's only one way to find out. So let's dig in. So damn, he really wasn't kidding was he? I am blown away by the efficiency of this dark monkey sacrifice, I suppose the temple was able to absorb some of its harnessed power because this is unlike anything I've seen before, balloons are being taken down faster than a kid pulling out a block from a Jenga tower. Needless to say it has absolutely smashed my expectations and we're only at stop number one. I'm curious to see how other more expensive sacrifices will hold up, so let's continue on our journey into a higher income region. Temple Facts Fun Fact, never purchase a vanilla temple without any sacrifices. Just like how fire dragons are immune to fire, and how Jake Paul is immune to cancer, yellow balloons are immune to the plain vanilla temple's plasma. Any sort of sacrifice to the temple will break this immunity, so keep this tip in mind in case you accidentally buy a vanilla temple, sell it immediately because it'll be useless. Okay, we've finally made it to our second destination, the pumpkin patch. Here, a lot of the residents are middle class and so they find an intermediate cost of temple sacrifices to work best. On my way over to this place one fellow resident shared with me his formula, and this is what he told me. Approximately $12,000 worth of super monkeys, $9,000 on the dot worth of heli pilots, $11,009 worth of ice towers, and $10,060 worth of tax shooters, all of this combined apparently makes for a one mean temple. I think this is close enough to the mentioned dollar amounts, so let's press the giant sacrifice button and watch the result. Hmm, it feels pretty alright, not half bad. Looks like exactly what you'd get from this amount of sacrifices, but as I expected it was hard to top the spectacle I witnessed down over on Park Path. 
Perhaps our final destination with their premium pricing will provide some competitive road trip time. More Temple Facts Fun fact, regardless of the cost of the tower sacrifices, temples are relatively strong compared to everything else. They do lots of damage to balloons. They can also pop comma balloons, shooting up to 10 yellow bolts per second. That's a lot of bolts fired when you extrapolate it to an hour. This is it guys, we have arrived at our final stop, the temple, home to some of the richest citizens of the Monkey Kingdom. And here today these citizens will help us construct an extremely costly monkey temple, coming in at an approximate cost of $500,000. That's 2,500 times more expensive than our single dart monkey sacrifice, so it'll be interesting to see just how powerful it is. Apparently it is crucial to surround the sun god with technological terrors before upgrading, so this is the setup I have. Now let's watch the spectacle as the 500k temple transforms. Wow, so the temple absorbed some of the technological terror's power and became evil itself, my mind is blown. It also seems to be doing fairly well against these balloons, hard to feel any regret after splurging all this money into one tower. Delicious. Guys, now that we've seen all three temples at their price points, it is time we make a final verdict on which temple is most worth it for its price. I didn't expect it to be this drastic, but personally I'm going to have to go with the cheapest option, the Dark Monkey Sacrifice. Even though it was only $200, it appeared to perform on par with the more expensive sacrifices, and that's enough to make this my choice for worth it. Normally you'd notice a distinct quality difference with such a price discrepancy, but I guess you can't really compare a $200 temple to a $500,000 temple the same way you would compare a $1 hot dog to a $200 hot dog. I mean, one's a giant hunk of metal and the other is an animal. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the very first Worth It episode. Comment below on what kind of comparisons you want to see next. The possibilities are endless. Have a buzzed day.